Well, hello everyone. Welcome back. <laughs> it's good to be here. It's good to be here. Um, so in the last episode, at the end of the last episode, I should say, towards the end of the last episode, we put a bunch of things into the vending machine. Guess what? We actually made 640 friggin' shells. Quite incredible. Um, so there were some good comments in the last episode. Some people were thinking, hey, you know, maybe not just go for the uh, harbor right off the bat. Maybe think about doing other things, like upgrading things. And I've been like, I'm telling you, dude, I've been jonesing for like the turbo, twin turbo engine on the boat. <laughs> I've been searching for that. I mean, I've, I've kind of, I, I, I do want that. I do, I do. Um, anyways, but there's a lot of different things that we can do right now. Um, the thousand dollar harbor thing is one of the biggest things that I'm looking into. Well, it's like, it's like primary thing. Um, but I don't know if I'm comfortable yet. I don't know if I'm comfortable quite yet. Yeah. <laughs> and we can't get the library without the harbor done. So it is what it is. So really what now, what we have to do now is make money, make money for everything. Right. I don't know which direction I will go. I haven't made that decision yet. It's kind of like doing everything on the fly. I mean, that's, that's all my let's plays. All my let's plays are here organically on the fly. It, whatever happens, happens. I hope you're, you know, you hold on tight. <laughs> I hope you hold on tight, sweetheart. Because that's all I got to say. Um, okay. So let's see here. Fish kebabs, which we have. We actually have the uh, recipe for the fish kebabs. But it takes an aggressive fish, which we just don't have. We don't have that aggressive fish anymore. But we could get 300 you know what? Hang on a sec. Let's take a look at the recipe. Well, not the recipes. Let's actually take a look at the fish and make sure we can find... Does it actually say Angio Poise Strong? Does it say Aggressive or anything? I, I would like it to say Aggressive. Like the Turquoise Fighter? What the heck? I just saw a Turquoise Fighter. Why isn't that the Turquoise Fighter? I saw the Turquoise fire Fighter. I was assuming that maybe that's an aggressive son of a gun. The Waiter? I love that. That's so good. <laughs> Another thing that somebody mentioned in the last episode was that they, you know, they, look, the way that they did the fish and like the fictional fish is incredible. They could have done something very boring, but they didn't. They really didn't. They did something quite, quite great here. And it's, it's fun. It's fun to go with. Nothing seems to be saying aggressive. I don't see, like it says spinner, it says medium, it says poise, but we don't really have that aggressive kind of trait because we need the aggressive to make the uh fish kebab so maybe there's something I, that i'm missing there if you guys know please feel free to let me know fish fingers is something that's up in the units today primate pincher as well so yeah i think today is more or less just a uh, go out fish make some money my man i mean i'll be i'll be honest with you like the the board the billboard for the past few episodes have not been doing very well like the boxer shrimp we have no idea what that is a shell skin you know like they say these are small requests but we actually have to go find them ourselves and and and, and kind of do that i kind of like games that that gradually let you not find everything but uh, i hate to say like linear because i'm usually against linear type things but when it comes to like collections of things when ai start to ask for stuff that you have no idea some of the stuff kind of seems late game ish and i know we're like we're pretty far into the let's play so i shouldn't be complaining about that very much but let's go ahead and go out on the on the deck here or the, the pier here the deck the dock whatever you want to call it let's go fishing for a few things now i will be um probably cutting a little bit of this because you know i don't want you guys to be all bored with me fishing i mean it's not very that i mean honestly you you <laughs> in the last episode it was oh god this man is heavy um, in the last episode, there was a lot of cuts because there's just a lot of downtime and that's how it is in this game. Some people like the downtime. Some people absolutely hate the downtime. Um, if I showed you, look at that. It took that much to get a moon eel. We got to switch our, uh, cast iron, or not a cast iron, but we need to switch our, we were on a balance, dude. Maybe if we went for a plug, do you think if I, I do want to get high bait though, man, there's so much things I need to do. Um, what if I went plug agile? You think plug agile would maybe get me an aggressive fish? I know it's like last thought of probably trying to go after this. Like that was terrible. <laughs> maybe agile with this. <laughs> it's just might this might be really bad. This might be really bad, dude. Hang on a sec. Let's see what happens here. Yeah. See, I. 
I wish the game gave more, um, kind of like, more, kind of explain these a little bit more. Because what the game did say at the beginning, if I remember correctly, was you can use a rod and use a lure, but don't feel like you have to use one over, over the other. I think it's, well, that's kind of the impression I got. I mean, yeah, you need certain fishing rods to catch certain fish, but... Overall, any fishing rod and any lure that you use should be able to catch at least something, right? Maybe you can. Maybe you can. Maybe I just got unlucky there. I don't know. But I'm assuming this is just a ling. Yeah, all right. Just a ling or a moon eel. I was actually going for a moon eel there. I don't know what is like considered an aggressive fish. Wish there was a little bit more description on that too. <laughs> That's all right. So one thing that we can actually get going on here is we can try a few things. Um, I can go to the, uh, what is it? I can go to other places like the Glacier Rocks that I haven't really experienced a lot in the high bait value realm of things. Does that make sense? Like, I haven't taken any high value bait to the Glacier or to some of the biomes out there. Maybe that's something that I do. I go explore, like Open Chill maybe. Um, let's see here. What the heck is this, dude? The Frosted Skates with like, there's like docks and stuff. There's like, we, we see buildings out and about. Whoa. There's a little bit of a path here, yeah? Maybe I go check that out too. Yeah, there's some things out there that we should probably look out after. And I'm gonna do that, but I gotta get some high high value bait here. And you know what? Looking at it, we actually do have a uh, fish kebab here. Now, what does what considers a, a an aggressive fish kebab? Or I guess I guess a small aggressive fish. A purple tail. I don't know how, but it does, and I'm gonna cook this up. I honestly forgot what it was that we need or how many that we needed for this, but um, I'm gonna cook it up. I can't remember if it was just one kebab, if it was two kebabs, and then I'll go back to the billboard, maybe pick up that quest, and that's an easy 300, I guess, but yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Okay, so what I did is I got some more high value bait. I also decided to pick up a few or make a few other dishes so that we can throw into here. I do not want to put that uh, like three dishes of fin fish fingers. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. 27 each. I think that's decent ish. That will give us at least to around 700. Hopefully, maybe we need just one or two or three kebabs. I, I don't remember, but let's stop guessing. Let's stop assuming. And let's just go ahead and check it out here. Three fish kebabs. <laughs> Damn! All right, so three fish kebabs. I'm gonna pick that one up. I think it's a three-day task, so it's nothing too crazy, nothing too spicy. Um, well, it is actually kind of spicy, but we have one. We do know, however, um, we do know... Wait a sec. What did that say? Okay, we do know that uh, purple steam or purple tail fish is an aggressive type fish. So once we go out into the water, we can at least... Check to see if we can find some purple fish, right? Purple tail fish. That'd be something. I do have the high bait. I will trek my way over there as well. It is late at night. Like, look at this real quick. We just like about to leave the harbor or the bay. And we have this. We have this like pile of fish here. We just sold something. There's 700, baby. Um, so this, we've actually got a purple tail doing just this in the last episode as well. So I'm going to see if I can get a purple tail real quick or two or a few white belly ling and a pollock hey it's, it's fine it's 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 dishes dude that's all that matters that it's dishes oh well another thing that we need to actually look after and you know what i might oh wait i might have some in my inventory i'm gonna have to check lobster lobster traps we need to, we need to see if we can get lobster we've not got lobster yet I would like to do it. I do have the high grade bait this time to feed the, oh, there's a purple tail, you son of a gun. Look at that. Very well. We're gonna need more purple tail though. I think we need two purple tails to make one kebab. So in all reality, we need four purple tails. So three to go. Oh, two to go. Very well. All right, and just like that, we got all the purple tail that we needed. I think we can go ahead and finish this uh, fish kebab. Uh, quest fairly quickly like that took like a couple of minutes if you are playing this game at home and there's that little school of fish right there I'd say do it dude go net it go net that and see what you can get because that was incredible oh the pollock oh the pollock is a aggressive fish too okay so it wasn't that hard all right I thought that was a lot harder than it than it was it wasn't that was just me being a forehead really that's why I wear the uh never mind <laughs> 
Okay, let me chop this up. Um, I'm gonna chop this up. I'm gonna go to bed, move on to the next day, and then we are going to um, go turn in this fish kebab. Because, you know, I, I know it might be possible, really, to turn in quests during the evening or during the nighttime, but I don't know. I, like, I go back to my Stardew Valley days, and I go back to, like, my Harvest Moon days, and I sit there and I think, you know, people, they go to bed, dude. They go home. They lock up. <laughs> they don't want to be disturbed, right? And I get it, you know, so that's that's kind of how I go. I know it's only 1800 Ah, part of me wants to go. I mean, it's only 1800 And if you don't know what 1800 is, it's about 6 o'clock. If you do the 12-hour format, not the 24-hour format. Okay, let's see if we can go find this person at least. I mean, it is the evening time. I mean, 6 o'clock here, it's, it's, you know, it goes... It's dark, right? It's dark. Is this who we need to deliver it to? Sorry, Huru, I completely forgot the boiled lobster. Mm. No worries. Um, hang on a sec. I, <laughs> I gotta check now because I don't want to give it to the wrong person. Uh, no, thank you. Thank you. All right, where, who was it? It was... Oh, Aoki, right? Ayo Aoki or Akio? Akio? He must be inside. And he definitely is inside. Can I just talk to you over the counter here? I, do I have to come around there? How do I get to you, my man? Um, I have what I have for you. Hey, Mr. Fisher, is this about the post on the notice board? Actually, it is, yes. Here's your three kebabs. Oh, you saw my note. Thank you so much. It means the world. So there we go. 982 shells, just like that. We haven't been here in a while. Might as well take a look and see what they have to offer. Um, essential for any serious fisher. Detects fish movement beneath and around your trawler. Which sounds good. Now, I wonder how that would actually work, right? Um, okay, so this is another thing. Like, vending machines. I haven't really looked into this much. And I should. I should. Honestly, I should have. Our third and final vending machine. I'll install this for you outside the aquarium. Interesting. But if you look at this, you put fresh fish sign. It will um, increase the sale price of all your fish by 10%. And then the meal street food sign, it will increase yours uh, by 10%. This is a very good investment down the road. Um, so that's something I got to think about. I'm not going to do that quite yet. I have my sights on something higher and bigger and stronger and all that good stuff. <laughs> I think I might put an actual fish in my vending machine just to get that 1,000 for tonight. We do have actually a lot of fish, uh, but they're they're like one of each. They're one of each of the different kind of crazy species that we have. Uh, like we could have put a moon eel in there, but it's like one shell. Why would we do that, right? We could put a wooly head, maybe one. People might like it. One warlock. People might like it. Um... And then we have like one of each of all the rest. And I'm kind of keeping them. I'm keeping the rest because just in case you never know if you need it. So at least maybe those two will give us some money. That was, should give us over a thousand. Um, and going over a thousand is going to be Harvard territory. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You're like, oh, the Harvard? Is that the way you're going? Yeah, that's probably the way I'm going. So it's all right. 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 I'm really invested in the story. I do love the story. The twin turbo will come. Don't worry about that. The twin turbo will come. The other things will come as well. Uh, the vending machine uh, sale price is increasing. 10%. Uh, that will all come. Everything will just come. Just come. Just come. It's, 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 we're here. We're here, ladies and gentlemen. We're here for the long haul, right? Anyways, uh, one thing at Abby. Oh, God. Abby's not even awake. I'm sorry. I almost tried to bust into the store at 6 in the morning. That's my fault. I'm so sorry. Let's run on over to the harbor real quick. I don't know if there's going to be a second improvement to the harbor. Hopefully there isn't. Hopefully it's just one because a thousand shells is quite a bit of money. But uh, who knows, really? Who knows? Hello. Do I need to give you anything? No, you're fine. You're fine. Okay. Still a lot of trash on the, on the beaches. I don't like to see that. Not one bit. Here we go. Alright, so Lil Lily Trembly welcomes all donations to the Ocean Gaze Aquarium docks. Caution Rickety. Send it. Oh, baby. Okay. Oh, what is this? Nothing. <laughs> Has this always been here? This fish sign? The fish sign might have always been there. Was that one? Another thousand? Let's turn this wharf into a community? <laughs> okay. Okay, um, you know, it is what it is. That's fine. 
Thanks again. Uh, there's not much fo footfall around here. I might have to go door to door. You're welcome to contribute, of course. Just check out the proposal sign. Um, yeah, so a little bit is, is repaired, but not all of it. You can absolutely say that was a waste of money, or it wasn't. I think of it as it was not a waste of money. I think of it as we're halfway there, baby. <laughs> now, this gives us the excuse to go out onto the um, onto the ocean, go up north, see what those little trails are on the map. Maybe we can put our dinghy in there. Every time I'm going to say that, dude, every time I'm going to say that, it's going to give me a little bit of smirk. I apologize, but it just is. I just, I, I, all I think about is Chris Farley, man. Quit playing with your dinghy. Uh, high bait. Yes, high bait with a balanced spinner. Like, I haven't found the right, like, one. I, I don't know, dude. Like, when it comes to the spinners and the rods and the lures and all that, or not the spinners, but when it comes to the lures and the rods, like, there's so, there's, there has to be, like, 30 or 40 different combinations, at least. Maybe less. <laughs> but, you know, I find it to be a little bit difficult. Now, one thing I do want to do is, like I said, I want to try to put a lobster cage out here with a little bit of high bait. And we have not put any high bait in any of our lobster cages, so that should be fun. I want to go up here and see if there's any trails that we can use our little dinghy to go through. And of course, all the fish over there to, you know, to net and all that. Okay, so here we go. The frosted skates. So this is the area that I'm talking about here. It might be nothing, but I'd rather check to see just in case. You never know. Let's go ahead and take it out here. Oh. 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 Maybe go this way? Okay. I mean, it looks it looks promising. I will say it looks very promising. There we go. Squeeze right on through. Oh, the music changed. Shattered trench. Oh, ho, ho, ho. whoa! What are we getting ourselves into? This map is bigger than I thought, isn't it? Okay, well we're here at shout, shat, not shouter, shattered trench. We have our high value bait, so let's go fishing for some funny species, or maybe more species. Shattered trench. Hopefully, it's good enough. Oh, the music's bumping. Oh my god. All right. That's a tube fish. <laughs> 320 kilograms. All right. So far, so good. I'm happy with the results I'm getting. <laughs> One fish down. Big son of a gun later. All right. I wonder how much those things would actually go for. Another banger on the music. Another new tube. Or <laughs> not new tube. We've been playing a lot of... Uh, YouTuber's life. I apologize for that one. But that was 400 kilograms. I don't know what that is in pounds. Look, I'm not I'm not that kind of mathematician. Come on. A bluefin tuna. We've actually had a bluefin tuna. We've used the bluefin tuna. We've actually caught a bluefin tuna in a net, so that wasn't too difficult. I'm only going to give this like a couple more uh, slots at or shots at and then I'm going to move a little bit more up north to see what else is here. There's probably like another like big boss battle or something like another fish that I have no idea about. Like last, yes, like last episode, I almost said last night. Well, it was kind of last night, but in the last episode. Oh, new species, Atlantic mackerel. I believe I remember someone talking about that. Yeah. Um, in the last episode. Some big fish yeeted us. Yeeted us out of existence, almost. Alright, this is going to be the last one, and we're going to roll up north. Another tube fish. That one's 545. Holy crap. Alright, let's move on. Let's get back into our dinghy. Zooming out, rotate the camera, and see how far we can actually go. Again, this is the shattered... Excuse me, this is the shattered trench... There's boxes out here, which is very unfortunate. You know what? Just because I don't like it. Bring it in. Yes. Bring this stuff in. We don't, we don't need this stuff, you know, in the shattered trenches. It already sounds bad enough. All the kelp. 
And then whatever the heck this thing is. Probably like driftwood? A tire got out here somehow. Now look at this. There is a little bit of a school, uh, a school of fish here. I don't think this counts. No, that's not. That doesn't count. All right. Continue. How's our map looking? We still have access going up to the straight here to the north. Oh, this is what I'm looking for here, right here. Check this out. I, I, I'm, I'm actually really curious about this though. Send it. That's a good toss. Can we get any more new species here? Let's see. Let's see. Certainly we can. A frosted scuttler? A scuttler? A crusted orb? And a glacier crush claw? That has to be a freaking lobster kind. Very well. I love this whole new net thing. <laughs> I should have done it a lot earlier in the game, I will admit. But my lord, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I, I almost enjoy it a little bit more than fishing, but it, you know. Did you hear that? She just talked back to me. Atlantic Blueback and the Itching Demon. This is so cool. And the one thing I really like is like, even the people in the comment section, you guys are enjoying the species too, right? I think that, I, like the art style on the species, like the, like the fictional species, they look so good. Okay, so, so far so good. Let's move forward. Okay. Check the map. This looks like it's getting a little narrow. What is this called? This is the Kraken Cove? Do you hear that? Is that the boat or is that a monster? I think that was the boat. Okay. <laughs> a monster. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay, let's go fishing at the Kraken Cove here and see what we can catch. Hopefully a nice new species. Maybe, maybe not. Yep. Music's bumping, therefore I get a blizzard fish. Good. This is gonna make the aquarium look even better. Hit them, hit them, hit them, hit the hit the school of fish. <laughs> hit the school of fish coming at you. So a blizzard? Not like from Dairy Queen, even though that sounds pretty damn good right now. Okay, bring it in. Oh yeah, look at that. That must be a blizzard, yeah? Yeah, that's another blizzard fish. At least we have one for the aquarium, one to keep. That's what I take from that. I know I could be casting out my line farther, but it makes it easier to do that. And it doesn't seem like it's handica handicapping me from not getting special species of fishes. I wish I could, well, like look at that. I could go out further, like way out further, but it's just gonna be harder to bring them in. If I do a farther line like I just did and I get a new species, I might be a little bit upset and probably eating back my words. Nope, that's still a blizzard fish. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm going to save a little bit of bait because I don't know how much bait I have still. And we're going to keep on cracking up the cracking cove. Whoa, baby. I think this might be... This might be it? Yeah? I would like to find a uh, a group of fish. Oh yeah, right here. I want to see what kind of fish I can bring in here at the Kraken Cove. Just give me a sec. Pull out the net. Bring them all in. Here we go. There has to be some new species here, yeah? The Spectacle Guppy. We've had that. And the Beast of the Ice. We've had that as well. But we're getting new fish, so that's what matters. Well, we're getting more fish, not... You know what I mean. <laughs> we're getting more fish. Don't get all technical on me now. Yo, okay, so we got a micro seal. And we got... Well, that's the only new species. A micro seal. Now, if I had different uh, a different rod um, with the high-valued bait, you could probably definitely um, be getting... Um, different kinds of fish coming after you. Yes, I, I I get that. Let's go up a little bit here. Very, very narrow. Look, there's another one of those things right there. I think I can fit. Bad idea. Bad idea. Back it out. Back it out. No. No. No, don't get stuck, please. No, no, no. Just back that thing up. Juvenile. 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 
Oh, no, no, no. Back that thing up. Please back that thing up. Good God Almighty. Oh, back that thing up, baby. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's get the hell out of here before I get myself in trouble. Well, I would have to say it was actually kind of a successful route or run through here. Um, no, like, crazy bosses, at least for now. Maybe later in the story it would progress into a boss battle somewhere out here. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just a place where, you know, nothing. <laughs> maybe it's just a place to go fish. And I kind of dig it. I do have to say it is a little bit of a pain to get through the uh, little ice trails, but that's alright. But I do have to say, like, I really dig this kind of gameplay in this game. Uh, the fact that you have to, like, go out of your way to try to find these trails, you know, and, and, and find these different kinds of biomes that might be lurking or hiding somewhere um, that you just can't get with your big boat, I really do like that. It's really fun. Anyways, let's head back, uh, back to home. Uh, we have a lot of different kinds of fish. We have fish for the aquarium. We have fish for our vending machine. Um, investing in ourselves is an option, but then again, I might be tempted to spend the $1,000 again on... <laughs> You already know on uh, on hang on. I'm actually turning back around to put down a lobster trap on the pier or the dock itself the harbor. Sorry Let me go ahead and just slap one down right here. I don't know if I have any bait. Hopefully I do still I do okay good. We have six high bait. Let's use that There we go. Oh, sorry. Get me going That would be good. All right, let's head back to the home or back to the house back to the house Going, going, back to back to Cali, Cali. You know how it is. All right, we are home, and now we can go back into our house and see what kind of things that we can get ourselves, in, like kind of troubled things that we can get ourselves into. Uh, right now, the fish kebab is at a 10%, 10% on, um, on, yeah, on, on selling. However, we can actually use the boiled lobster, which, by the way, we even needed the boiled lobster for how long? But I'm not going to do it. I know we need it for a person. However, I'm going to use the glacial crush, or crush claw for the aquarium. Because who knows when the next time we'll go back there. And I don't want to waste the perfect opportunity, right? Uh, so right here, the best thing I still think is the jerk fish poutine. Still gives us a pretty good, decent amount of... Well... We don't have any medium to cook that. We have Itching Demon, which I will use just one and then save the other for the aquarium. But Jerkfish Poutine is pretty strong. I mean, it only costs 10 bucks to, to make and it sells for quite high, right? Quite high indeed. After I go into this, I don't know if I'll cook anything else quite yet. I will, however, I will, however, Check to see how much some of these fish go for in the vending machine. You know, the prices. I might sleep. I might sleep because we haven't slept in a while. Which might turn over our prices into the next day. If it's past 6 a.m., of course. You can't, like, go to the next day unless you're past the hour, if that makes any sense. So, like, if it's 4 a.m., and I say, oh, sleep till 9 a.m., you won't go to the next day. You'll go right to 6 a.m. If it's 7 a.m. and you say sleep till 6 a.m., maybe you'll go to the next day. You have to go to the next day, right? Anyways, I don't need to spell that one out for you. But I did. I did. I did. And I, I apologize. And now, look, we're having this conversation of it's kind of pointless now going back and forth. Even though you're not going back at me, I'm, I'm kind of going at you, which then in the case I'm going back and forth with myself which again why are we even speaking about this let's go upstairs it's only 4 30 okay so let's let's go into our vending machine here I'm gonna put the jerkfish poutine in there and then I'm gonna check what the other fish's cost and go for yo 51% on the Brazilian electric ray you are out of your damn mind that is awesome $100 for jerkfish poutine there we go you know what? Hang on a sec. Let's 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 double check again. Let's see. So any of the new fish that we picked up, like the tube fish, sells for 110 each. Pretty cool. Um, and that's really the only thing that really catches my eye is that tube fish. Not really. Um. Well, I mean, the crusted orbs, 55, is not a bad thing. But other everything else is eh. That's all right. So let's run on over to the aquarium real quick. We'll run on over to the aquarium, talk to the lady, be like, hey, 
lady, Marina. I got all these fish for you. I hope uh, tourism is, is coming coming along well. It'd be cool if she like gave me a little bit of money, but then again, she's you know helping. I'm helping out everything in 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 the sense of like sell prices for myself with tourism. But anyways, so we want to give her one tube fish, one Atlantic mackerel, one one crush claw, one scuttler, scuttler, crested orb, itching demon, and blizzard fish with the oh we never gave her a beast of the ice. Okay, and then micro seal. Okay, there we go. Yes, they're gonna go down. They're gonna go down a storm with the visitors. Okay. <laughs> and she wanted a grilled octopus. Okay, that's what she wanted. A grilled octopus. All right. Well, now that we have that all situated, we can kind of go back home, and we probably will sleep until the next day to go to day twenty-six. Kind of reset our um, <clears throat> sorry, reset our that one hundred and thirty-nine shells now. Reset our sales right i guess i haven't seen anything when it comes to days on if it matters or not if days are important to this game it doesn't seem like it right now that's kind of why i'm burning the days like it's not a big deal but let's go ahead and sleep till 6 a.m that should should take us to day 26 oh my god the dog i love how like animals just like wake up instantly so it is day 26 and it is raining, so we should have. Yeah, we should have. Okay, good. Okay, this is this is better. I love this better. Seventeen percent trending up on a fish cake. We can make a lot of fish cakes, and it costs us nothing, right? Is it worth, you know, other things that might be higher, uh, higher price? Like for instance, cost us forty shells to make seafood chowder. We could do it, right? Um. And maybe make like 50 shells off of it, right? And that's not a bad idea looking at it. Now looking at all the other options we have. 50 shells. Like this is not bad either. A fish chowder. Those are easy to make. Cheap. Yeah, okay. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go seafood chowder. And I'm thinking about... <sighs> thinking about sending all of these, but maybe not. Uh, we'll do all purple tail. Because now that we know, purple tail is pretty easy to come by. Any of those fish really are. And we'll do this. We'll cook this up and then maybe make a bunch of fish cakes. Maybe. Probably. And then that shall give us quite a bit of money. Not a full thousand, though. Not a full thousand. But should. I could check the billboard to see what else is going on. Oh, damn it. I F that one now, didn't I? All right. I forgot that it went around again. Anyways. I'll finish this up. And then uh, I'll bring you probably back to the billboard and see where we're standing at. All right, so I said I was going to bring you back to the billboard. I kind of lied. I did lie. I, I just wanted to show you what how many uh, things I cooked up just now. Cooked up quite a bit. Uh, we cooked up three. Oh, the Bella is out of control, dude. Uh, <laughs> we cooked up three different seafood chowders. Three different seafood chowders should give us... 85 shells each which is a big big deal and then i kind of use the scraps yeah the scraps like the white belly the lings the pollocks the easy fish that we can catch on a daily basis we put a bunch of that into the fish cakes and so that made us 12 fish cakes which comes out to 30 roughly almost tw well it's 29 but like almost 30 you times that by 12 and you know Pretty big number, right? Pretty big number. Taking full advantage of that. And then we're going to go on over to the... Um, taking advantage of the uh, plus, right? The plus. Now, I know that 19 shells is like, whoa, you're, you're very low. But you got to you gotta remember that the chowder is what's going to be... It, it's it's going to come back together. You'll see. You'll see. Once that stuff sells, we'll be okay. Noah has one work, has work available. One fish cake for 300 shells. Jesus Christ, that's incredible. One chiming jelly jellyfish for 200. Look, I've held I've <laughs> I've held onto that jellyfish for so long. Now you can see I've could have sold that jellyfish for 100 shells in the vending machine for so long, but now we can sell it for double it. Now that we've held onto that for so long, very good. Mark knows of a strange fish. Might as well pick that up as well. Uh, we got to go make one fish cake. So let's go real quick. Run back home. Make one fish cake, which should be very easy to do. And then we're going to get a lot of money here in a sec. We are. We're going to get a lot of... We're going to get a quick thousand very, very quickly. Quick thousand very, very quickly. I, look, English, first language, 
hardly can speak it. Um, so there should be a dupe in here, right? A duplicate. I like to keep one of like all each fish because just like this in this freaking example here, you can see it for yourself. Somebody needed a certain fish, the chiming jellyfish, and you know, it's going to come through for us right now. Um, so I'd like to keep at least one fish now of each, unless it's an easy, like an easy fish, like a pollock or a ling, like I have no problem uh, getting rid of those. But for the ones that take a little bit of time to go out and get, I, I'd rather not, um, I'd rather not get rid of them, I'd rather not chop them up, keep them. And, um, for quests just like this, like, this is pretty good. Oh, hello. How are you? Dogs are just ran through. Hello, Mercy. How are you? Oh, I almost messed up, dog. I almost messed up. You distract me with your cuteness, I swear to God. <clears throat> well, of course, you know, my wife, I, she distracted me with, my cute, with the cuteness too, right? I don't know. I just saw something. She had a big box and she went down the hallway, so I don't know what happened. She was out shopping. Well, I'll be honest, I'm a little scared. I, you know, I don't know. We'll have to find that out here in a sec. If she walks back this way, I'll ask her. I'll ask her what the heck happened out there, you know, out in the wild. <laughs> you never know. Here she comes. Hey, come here. Come here. What just happened? You're going to stand there and not tell me? No, 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 no. Come here. Come here. Come here. Why don't we talk about what just happened? What happened? What did you buy? You bought a die cutting machine? That sounds incredible. I don't even know what that is. Then it was the last one, then it was incredible, right? You have something for me? Ooh, she has something for me. What was the freaking... Hang on a sec. I don't want to screw this up. I'm getting a little distracted. Um, let's go Akio or Ak... I can't look I can't even pronounce people's names either now this guy he wanted the fresh shells for the chiming jellyfish Wow what is that what is this a venti white mocha oh my god <laughs> this is not for me this is for you a venti white mocha no whip three pumps of caramel this is yours this is for me you don't drink hot coffee? I guess I do now. That's very good. That's very good. Thank you. Appreciate that. I, You know what? I talked about this in an episode of, like, The Good Life. About a white mocha. I had no idea. See, she goes to Starbucks. I don't. I don't, I don't do this. I, I, I do not participate. Not that I don't like it. I just... I mean... I, I like it. It just... Shut up. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Let me see though, or let me find those shells for you. So there we go. We got 200 shells from doing that. Very simple, very easy quest. Now we can go off and give the fish cakes to Noah. I can't remember the last time I had a hot coffee. Well, I guess I do remember the last time I had hot coffee from Starbucks. I think it was earlier in the year, earlier in the year when we went to Disney. I think that's when we had our, that's when I had a hot coffee or something with it, whatever the hell it's called type drink that. Oh, that must be the guy that has the information for the uh, next strange fish. I'll put my ear back in my ear here so it doesn't look weird. A little bit of OCD, right? 567 shells already. This is Mark Kleinbuer. Hey, got another extreme fish for you. It's the Diarock. Venomous. You won't catch me climbing around in the bay. You mean swimming, right? <laughs> Same difference. Swimming is just climbing through water. Hmm, touche. All right. You know, I, I want to see this. Where is this at? Oh, we already know what that is, right? Stonefish? Yeah, we already know what that is. He told us. Will you tell us about a fish? Valerie. Ah, you again. A little more friendly advice. Don't touch the razor tooth quarreler. It's been chosen by Poseidon. It bounced across five geysers and escaped completely unharmed. If that's not divine intervention, may the Allfather strike me down. Now, we know about that fish. Yeah, the razor tooth quarreler. Yeah, we definitely know about that fish. Okay. So we still need to go find Noah. We need to give Noah his nice little fish cake here. That shall be good. I think he's going to be probably by City Hall. Hopefully. I don't want to run around with my head cut off here. But, you know, I'm starting to feel like I'm running around with my head cut off here. And there is not Noah. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Um, 
Look, Rose, I need to find your husband. That's all I need. I, where's your husband? Let's see here. Oh, oh. Oh, is he at the harbor? No, that he's not at the harbor. He, he, he has to be here. Somebody here, or somewhere here, but maybe just he's inside and we can't get to him. Hopefully we can get to him soon. If not, I mean, one day for 300 shells. I only have one day to do this. Do I have to wait for him to come out? No. Maybe he is at the harbor. He's a hard gentleman to find. I, I tell you what, he's very hard to find. All right, so what I did is I actually went into my quest and I untracked every quest except for his. So maybe that would make it a little bit easier to help me find where Noah is at. Hopefully. So let's see here. It's still... <laughs> it still says it's right here, dude. Unless he's like behind the corner and I don't know about. No, he's not here. 300 shells is so much. It really is so much. And I want to give him it. But he won't take it. He won't come out. What the heck? Well, it's very unfortunate. I've gone all day trying to find Noah. And I just can't seem to find him anywhere. Other than where the marker is telling me to go. Which, if you see right here, help him. Um, he just is in the he's in the freaking uh, city hall or the you know that, and he's not coming out. So that's unfortunate because that's an easy 300 shells that we could have easily made. Now look at us. Well, one way that we can kind of combat that, I guess, is maybe try again to sell things. But we could sell his dish for the 17%. You know what? I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm gonna sell his dish. I thought that was him for a sec. <laughs> I'm going to sell his dish since he won't come out. And we'll leave it how it is. And that will be fine. Uh, but I think that's going to wrap up today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Moonglow Bay. And I will see you at Starbucks later. Take care. And now for my next number, I'd like to return to the classics.